Hi, this is Doc David Gawain. So the question is, laser, scanner, what's better? What's worse? Which one first? Which one second? <laughs> All right. Well, kind of saying which one is better is like kind of saying, well, who's better, your mom or your dad? <laughs> well, some of you will immediately say, well, mom was. Or some of you might even say, well, dad is. And some of you go, well, I can't make that comparison. Well, the laser is male, okay? It gives energy, okay? But it gives what we call a, uh, a healing light. In the Q1000, it's seven different wavelengths of light. It gives photons, and they're coherent light. When that light then hits our little cells, we have something that's brilliant in our cells called mitochondria. And many times you will see the mitochondria is called the powerhouse, the powerhouse of the cell. Now, but the powerhouse of the cell is photovoltaic. What does that mean? They're like photocells. They take the photons that the light or sunlight will hit and immediately will use that to create something called ATP or energy. Now, here's the secret. That ATP is going to go for function and it's also going to go for repair. Now we're going to see where the rubber hits the road and why the laser is so brilliant when you're working with someone who has conditions of low energy. Now, do you know people who have low energy? Well, I have osteoarthritis. Low energy. Oh, well, I have cardiovascular disease. Low energy. Oh, my thinking's not, not do it. Could be low energy, maybe not. Oh, I got an injury. Well, you're going to have high energy, meaning in that area where you have the injury, but you might have low injury somewhere else in the body. Now, isn't it great when mama is going to be, or our, our person who's cleaning our house, don't we want them to have the most amount of energy to be able to clean? Or do we want them to clean our house on a bad, low energy day? Not hearing you, right? We want to do it when their energy is high. Well, our bodies are the same. But here, let's talk about something called tinnitus. Tinnitus is really interesting, okay? So it affects our ears. It affects a lot of different things. But this is where there is supposedly no type of, quote, way to help the tinnitus sufferer. The reason is, is our drugs in standard care out there don't give extra energy to the body. So we could say the same thing with tinnitus, or we could say the same thing with heart disease. We could say the same thing with literally any more select cells in our body, like our eyes, right? When our eyes are weak, I used to call it the... Uh, how do I know when to use the laser to help my eyes is when I was watching TV from my position and I wasn't able to read what, what channel what was on. I knew I then could take out my Q1000, put it on my eyes, and guess what? I immediately saw better. Well, why? Because the energy of the Q1000 or the energy of the low-level laser, the soft laser, went into the mitochondria, created energy, which immediately was being used for function. But we wanted to not only use it well for function, we want to give a little bit more so the body sleeps really good. We want to be able to use it for regeneration and repair. That, my friends, is why Dad is so great. He brings home the bacon, he brings home the money, and we're talking traditionally here, not saying that mom doesn't bring home the bacon or doesn't bring, not saying that, right? Just saying, we're bringing photons in, it allows the cells to get energy, and if they're damaged or they're injured, guess what? We can't get energy very well from the foods that we eat, but we can get it from the light that we have. It's one of the reasons why solariums, in the old days, people would go and get good light. They would get naked in the light for 20 to 30 minutes a day, sometimes a day. This was the way of old, and we can do it the way of now, too, with using a soft laser to give the body the light to then have the energy for the function. Now, 
how is that different than a skeinar? Well, skeinar is feminine. Feminine, meaning it can actually help change the magnetics of the cell to now hold more light. Light, magnetic. Light, electricity. Different mechanisms. Both mom and dad can both come home and put the child to sleep. But one of them may be able to help the child be able to receive a little more. <laughs> and that typically is mom in this case. So what does the skeinar do? The skeinar will many times rearrange that which is around the cell. So the cell can now hear those signals even better. And it can work better. And it also tunes the body, changes the magnetics to not only hold more light, but now is tuned to be able to have the new repli repercussion or the new replication of the new cells be stronger and better than the ones that they replace. That's what we call regeneration. So, one is female, one is male. One is an organizer. One helps give the body the energy so it can be organized. Is one better than the other? No. Are they different mechanisms in how they help the body? Yes. Is there a lot of overlap that could be used? Yes. And is there 20 or 30% different? Or do they do two or three or four things each that the other one can't do? Yes. And that's why I and many others, especially in the healing fusion equipment, love to use them both together. If we're on an area which is low in energy, use the laser first. That then gives the energy, uh, um, the ability of the scanner to work better. Before I met um, um, Dr. Arena back in 2004, um, I did a lot of whiplash cases. Um, um, I'm going to talk about this on the next video. Are you ready? Okay, this is Doc David Gawain.